Hi, I'm Ang. I'm a second year internal medicine resident physician, and this is my video about why I took CS50 and my experience with it. CS50 is Harvard's introductory to computer science course. So I took it in 2024 because I did not want to become obsolete. Since I've been a child, computers and the internet have always been praised as this revolutionary thing. However, I was streamlined into medicine quite early and I always wanted to know how these tools work that we are constantly using in every field, including medicine. There have been times where I wish I could modify a program so I could do a task easier, but I felt that I couldn't do that. One non-medical situation where I wish I could modify a program was in the case of when I was using Google My Maps, where it seems like you can't choose what measuring system you're using in Google My Maps, and it just defaults to whatever the appropriate tool is based on your geography. However, if I want to use feet in a metric country, I wish I had that option. Another reason why I wanted to take this course was I was actually communicating with somebody in medicine who was helping organize data using AI. And they said that they would take a pass on me because I lacked the background coding skills to be able to get up to speed in a timely manner. And so I wasn't able to make this luck happen by having opportunity meet preparation. And so I don't want to be in that position again. And I want to create my luck by having the right preparation when the right opportunity comes about. Enough about me and my reasons for wanting to take the course. I think that's important that if you're going to pursue this course, though, it is quite challenging and you need to have a good reason and know your why for why you're pursuing this. How was this course? So I took a basic computer science class when I was a undergrad at York University in Canada, and this was way, way more challenging, but also more practical. Both courses covered the fundamentals of how computers worked. However, the course I took in undergrad was a lot more basic, even down to things like Boolean circuits that I don't think were all that practical. And it almost felt like a prerequisite for this course. However, this course had a lot more real coding and solving problems that I think were a lot more practical to someone's daily life. It's a lot more what you think of when somebody is coding, where there's a command line terminal or they're in a basic word processor making a program. Overall, I feel a lot less intimidated by code. I certainly don't know all of the syntax and I don't consider myself a proficient coder at the end of this course. That said, the course really teaches you how to solve problems, learning to use code as a way to solve them. I think this course teaching you how to think about using computers to solve problems is really ingrained and is especially the case with the course being forward thinking and using a built in AI large language model. This really did make it feel like the course was preparing me for a real world problem solving environment. As someone not wanting to pursue computer science as a degree, the traditional methods of learning just to pass a test is not a good metric for me in terms of value I got from the course. The learning here was done for knowledge and to gain abilities in solving problems. So I feel the course design and my goals really aligned because the course really encourages you to look up and learn what you need to do to accomplish your tasks. From building a website to creating a runoff voting system, you are solving problems and gaining skills in the process. The final project is actually creating something to solve a problem that you actually want to solve. I created a reflection journal where similar to the streams, there are reflection questions and then you can enter responses into a database and then you can look back at your responses over time to these reflections. Keep in mind, I did the less comfortable version of each task, knowing that I don't want to be the best coder myself but I want to be able to interact with people in the tech world. In conclusion, computers are everywhere and this information is great to know, but it is a difficult course. As someone not in the computer world and in medicine, if you're like me and want to know more about computers, I think this is a great jumping off point for people like us. I still feel that I need to learn more and in my ideal world, I would take more of Harvard's computer science courses in my areas of interest, such as AI and Python, but it's great to have this foundation as a jumping off point to pursue these things. Thank you, Professor Malin and the CS50 staff for creating this great and well-taught course. It is amazing that we are able to have this world-class education accessible and free. Until next time, take care. Bye.